This is CVTV. We are here in Las Vegas at Wispapalooza. I am with the PLP team. Um, guys, if you want to just introduce yourselves and tell me a little bit about how you fit into your space. Sure. Uh, I'm Brendan O'Boyle. I'm the Western Region Sales Manager for PLP. Uh, we've been around since 1947. We make all manner of products between uh, aerial pole line hardware, uh, fiber, op fiber optic uh, connectivity devices, closures, cross connect bulkheads, NIDs, anything that you need to do from a CO or head end, etc., all the way to the end user, um, we can support that. And if you're using fiber, you should be talking to PLP. Um, and uh, yeah, so come by the booth, come talk to us. And, uh, and I'm Matt Becker, I'm a product manager with Preform Line Products for uh, both inside plant and outside plant connectivity. Uh, I'm out of our Cleveland office. Uh, in our Cleveland office, we do uh, all of our engineering, um, all of our test test typing, um, all of our test testing facilities are located in Cleveland. Um, we do most of our um, domestic manufacturing in Albemarle, North Carolina. But most of the products that you'll see here today are out of our Rogers, Arkansas facility. Um, so with that, we can we can kind of get into the, the product portfolio that Preform Line Products and Coyote Fiber Optics has. Great, thank you. So as Matt was saying earlier, uh, we have uh, all manner of devices here. So I just kind of want to walk you through um, from inside the house to outside of the house and uh, kind of going towards the central office. Um, but basically inside the house we have uh, fiber wall plates. Uh, these are able to uh, be a fiber demarcation point uh, that would go to the ONT indoors if you're offering like a fiber to the home type service. Um, when you get to the wall getting into the house, so kind of backing up a little bit, going from subscriber out, we have the STP, which is a NID box, which does something similar. It's a passive uh, fiber demarcation point uh, that would allow you uh, to do two SCAPC adapters, four LC um, uh, connections in this box. But this is something that you'd mount on the side of the house. It's a nice small footprint. Um, in between the house and the curb, if for some reason you had some damage that you had to repair, um, or if you liked the connectivity that we can offer in it, you would use something like a DTC. This could repair flat drop pretty easily. Uh, inexpensive, easy solution. You fix a cut drop. You can clamshell the lid together and bury it uh, in the ground. You can direct bury this little device here. And then you could also utilize an LCC for the same type of application. It's a little bit more elbow room in that. Uh, but so that would be in between the house and the curb. And then when you get to the curb, we have some other different devices that we would offer for that. So Brennan did a great job of explaining um, towards the subscriber end of the network. Um, we also have some larger larger count closures that you'll see here um, where we have a, a complete dome product line um, that'll splice basically anywhere from a 48 count um, all the way up to a 3,456 count um, cable. Um, another unique thing about Coyote Fiber Optics and Preform Line products is um, the way that the products are engineered and manufactured. Um, everything's manufactured with the highest quality. Um, there's integrated seals on the covers. Um, there's no scuffing or um, tapes or cure times to seal any of the cables. Um, it's basically as easy as just measuring the cable diameter um, and providing that secure seal. Um, again, uh, most of the seals, as you'll see on these covers, are actually just integrated um, directly in. Um, we also provide um, inter internal connectivity, um, anything from SCAPC to LCAPC, LCUPC, any connector that you really want. Um, where we also s supply hardened connectivity as well. Um, so if you had plug and play solutions, um, we also have um, typical solutions for that as well. Um, one of the latest um, product introductions that we've had, as I stated earlier, was our 3456 um, and 1728 closure. Um, so maybe not typical in the uh, wireless internet service provider space, but um, we do have applications that can house, again, up to 1728 or 3456, um, where we have flip trace systems, as well as pretty much any different um, trace system that, that you'd want to see out on the market today.
so where is Preform located? So our headquarters is in Cleveland, Ohio. That's where um, most of our engineering uh, operations and testing operations are conducted. Uh, we also take domestic manufacturing very seriously at Preform. So we manufacture products in Rogers, Arkansas and Albemarle, North Carolina. We also have international subsidiaries that are all wholly owned, but um, we, we, we do pride ourselves on the fact that we keep a domestic pipeline of products full by making it here and employing U.S. citizens. Great. Yep. How can we find out more information about your company? So you can find us at preform.com. That's P-R-E-F-O-R-M-E-D.com. Um, that has mostly all of the sell sheets, marketing collateral, application procedures, application videos. Um, a good portion of our application videos can also be found on youtube.com backslash preformed co. Um, so if you visit that site, you'll see some more in-depth um, application videos. Thank you.